My life to date has revolved around fighting, around my pursuit of striking a man's jaw with the optimum speed, power and timing to rotate his head, disturb the grid of nerves and blood vessels connecting his brain to his skull and render him temporarily unconscious. My fights are my reference points, and I admit that sometimes I struggle with that fact because I know most people tend to bookmark their journey with much more traditional, less malevolent landmarks. They recall the likes of birthdays or holidays when seeking to put a moment in time from the past into context. Where were you living in 2004? Well, let's see. I turned 40 in 2004, so that means I... What were you doing with yourself in 2012? That was the year we spent a month travelling through Europe, so... Ask me the same questions and I'm beating Hidetaka Takamonma into a bloody submission in Tokyo. Or putting Dwayne Ludwig to sleep with a sharp left hook in Vegas. Choose another year and I could be the fighter rising gingerly from the canvas in a semi fugue state or battling to keep the blood flowing from my head back to my heart as my jugular vein and carotid artery are closed by an arm attempting to choke the life out of me. Beyond that brief, exhilarating existence inside the cage, my mind's eye won't wander too far. To the torture of the gym, or more psychological and spiritual preparation elsewhere perhaps, but certainly no further. Fighting. For 34 years, my journey has been signposted by fighting. <laughs>